So you know that I'm a big social media guy. I'm all over the place, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, da da da. The problem is uh, I, uh, that data doesn't really belong to me anymore. My photos are up on Facebook and I can't really get access to them and, put them and keep them and do things with them. And social safe that we're gonna see right now is, has a new approach to this. It's gonna grab all that data and put it on your hard drive and we're gonna talk about what that does. But I also have uh, Gordon Bell who is just uh, a bigger than life figure and was one of the fathers of life logging. So this is gonna be a really interesting conversation with Social Safe and Gordon Bell. Who are you? I'm Julian Ranger, I'm the founder and chairman of Social Safe. Uh, my background was I worked on the military internet way back in the 80s, built a company, sold it to Lockheed Martin in 2005, so based in the UK but had offices worldwide. Then I was an angel investor, so I invested in things like Halo and Datasift, and then more recently founded Social Safe and are now working full time on that. Now we could talk for hours just about Halo and, and what's happening in the UK in terms of startups. And who are you? Uh, I'm Gordon Bell, and uh, I've been doing life logging for maybe 15 years. I actually started the first stuff in uh, 1998 um, when I said, I'm, we're going to capture everything you've ever seen and heard and, and, and did and whatever. And uh, basically, so I built a system that, or Jim Gemmel and I built a system that did that. And in 2009, 10, essentially everything broke because it turned out we find, we're finding our life is all logged on every place else. So yeah. essentially my life is spread all over hell. Namely, it's you know, Facebook, it's uh, uh, LinkedIn, wherever, Twitter, all the things that, that we, all the gains we had made by centralizing and having every bit of our life on a hard drive, uh, now all of that data is someplace else. So I, uh, Julian contacted me uh, just two years ago, and I said, oh wow, you're building, you're building this other thing that basically collects all of that data that's everywhere, whether it's health data yep. or whatever, and pulling that in so we can centralize and do something with it. So, so people probably know that, uh, Rock, that I worked at Microsoft before I met Rocky and yeah. started this whole show. And we, I interviewed you as part of Ch Channel 9. This was back in 2005, I think. And back then, the, that, that was before, well, it was just as Facebook was getting hot inside colleges. There was no Twitter, there was no YouTube, right. there was no, that uh, Flickr was out, but it, was, it wasn't that big it a deal. It was for a different thing, and, yeah. And uh, you know, there was no Google Plus, there was no LinkedIn. LinkedIn was probably started, but was yeah. very, very small in size. And it, like you said, that you're, uh, when I came and saw you, you were wearing a camera that would capture all the images of your life, right, and log that. And then you had a tool on your uh, Windows computer that you could see everything that you logged all, all through your life, right? Yeah, and that, that did us very well. And we captured, we were capturing most of, all, most of our life, the important parts, the, uh, certainly all the email and all of the transactions that we did including all the cameras and other other things but really it's all of the these others both the cloud sites the sharing sites but it's also the communications sites namely uh, for a lot of for the you know the Y generations basically all their they don't use email they use the uh, one of the social sites yeah. or any any or of the they social use their sites phone. or they or the uh, the uh, phone, the SMS. As the, as the, and, the, and by the way, all of those things are lost. And the question is, well, do you think, the, do you think there's value? What we, what we learn when logging all that stuff, there is value remembering everything that ever happened. Yep. You know, so it's real. We found out it was the, about memory was, was why you want to do that. It really is a supplement to memory, and you get lots of big gains if you can do that. Well, I, I, I'm writing a book called The Age of Context that we're, he we're heading into a new age where it's not just about memory, it's yeah. about building a digital assistance that helps sure. you live your life. 
And the more data you have for these digital assistants to study, the better they get. We, we talked about a few off camera, you know, yeah. like uh, 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 Google Now, for instance, will tell me, uh, you know, what the traffic's like on the way home, mm -hmm. right? Because it's trying to help me live my life. It knows that I'm here. And, and it knows that I live at, at home, and it knows that about 6 p.m. I usually go home. So it just shows me a map and says right. You're tr the traffic's bad. <laughs> you know? right. So have another drink, you know, right. or whatever. That's exactly. the value. So if you've got your, your, all of your data together, you can have the reminiscences, reminiscences, you can look back, you can search for stuff, but yeah. it then also provides context for you going forwards. Yeah. So you can do more with it. And that's the key to understanding. Your data is not just about the past, it's about what you can do with it going forwards. And we're, we're also seeing a new range of wearables that, that build on the camera idea that you showed, the little, uh, what did you call that, the sense cam? It was a sense cam and that yeah. came out, I started wearing that almost 10 years ago, 2004. And we looked at the value of being able to have your whole day uh, being captured. In fact, I'm going to take that device from you. I'd like to know what that thing is and maybe try wearing it and see if, see if it does what I want it to. You can. So maybe I, I took some pictures. One. Maybe I'd better have one of these things. Uh, you know, I don't know what it is. Well, this course. is the modern sense cam, and instead of wearing oh, it on your chin. Oh, okay. It's so tap it to turn it on. Where we're going with this is we're going to grab a lot more data. This thing, by the way, knows where I'm looking, which uh, yeah. uh, my cell phone doesn't really know. And, it's going to spit that up to Google Plus mm -hmm. in some way, and it's going to do, sh do stuff for us in this age of context. It's going to assist us in living our lives. It's going to say you know, stuff about where we are and where we're looking, where we're heading, where we're driving, where we're walking. New age is coming. As far as Google knows you. Well, and, and there's going to be competitors to this yeah. as well. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I mean, GoPro has cameras. And, right. Uh, Oakley has ski goggles with a little it display in them. Like and, uh, uh, I, I know there's lots of competitors. There's two cameras from China that I've seen so far, and there's a Sp Spanish camera company that's putting images on the glass, and mm -hmm. all sorts of fun stuff's coming. So, so we have this di digital data that's spraying all over the place, and then we comment on somebody's, like if I go and comment on your photo, my, my, my comment is digital data. It's really hard to grab all that and keep it for my kids or my or, or for my system that I might want to build to build new contextual systems that will help us out in the future. Right? That's right. So, I mean, at the moment, all of your data is fragmented all over the shop. So the companies are using any of it, the whole vertical stack of it. You only tend to get to see the latest real time because that's all they're interested in giving you. You might get in Facebook your timeline, but it's an edited version. So you don't really have access to your full data set. And that limits you when you want to look at things, you want to find things, you want to search things, because the companies are not interested in providing that for you. So that's the first limitation. Second limitation is Google knows a lot about you. And if you use Google and just Google, then you get some value out of that. But if you then decide you want to move somewhere else, what happened to all your past data and the context that that had? Yeah. You can't take that with you. You can't allow anybody to see it. What happens if you've got your check-ins on Foursquare, your Twitter, your Facebook? Surely that's a more uber view of you um, that can be used going forwards. So what we're trying to do at Social Safe is say, going to the point Gordon made about it's all spread out there, is to bring it back. You're the point of integration. So, so what is Social? It's an app that runs on... It's an app that runs today on your Mac and PC, all the different versions. And it basically goes out to all of the different social networks, so Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google+, Plus, uh, Instagram, Pinterest, blogs. And it basically brings all of that data down, but it brings it down privately to your own machine. Now, right? now uh, do I have to give SocialSafe all my passwords to all those no, things? No, you give the program, the software. So you download the software onto your computer, and then, yes, you have to log in to Facebook, et cetera, but that's all held on your computer. The only thing Social Safe ever knows about you is your name, your email, and your country of origin. Nothing else at all. Okay. So it's 100% private. Today it's on so your... So you're not, you're not tracking when I even read it or open something? Nope, or nothing at all. Change it? Or, so you're not, you're, you're not re 
the, the Social Safe app is not reporting anything up to uh, your company? No, we do have anonymous statistics if you want to enable it, and it's true anonymous, and that's just so that we know do most people use Facebook or Twitter or whatever, so it's to help improve the app. But there's no data about you. We know nothing about it. Okay. it. It's only if you enable anonymous statistics. So the only thing I know about you as an individual, as I said, is name, email, and location. So, so I have every service out known to mankind from Pinterest to Etsy to Amazon. Right. And you're tracking, you let me log all that stuff, right? My buying behavior on Amazon? And uh, not quite yet. Not the, quite yet. Okay. That will come. So at the moment, it's the main social networks, and we're quite deep into those. So, so LinkedIn, Google+, Facebook, P Pinterest, Pinterest, Twitter. Blogs, Twitter, and we get all the data. So you know you can get your Twitter. We might, we might pull it up on the screen just so right. uh, people can see what yeah. it looks so like. This is my social safe with my own personal and certain company data, and I password protected on my site just because uh, I've got some stuff here. So you can see in this particular version, um, this is social safe 20 comes in four, 10, and 20 flavors. You can try it for free on the net, two months, and it's completely, every single function's enabled. And then it's all of $7 a year if you want to do it. So it's not even okay. very much. So I can try it for a month, see if it works two for months. me? Two months. Or two see, months? And see if it works for you. And then $7 a year. So it's $7 not, a year. It's, it's, it's two it's, lattes. Not even two lattes if you get them in the airport, right? Not even two <laughs> lattes. And as you were talking about the context, and, and Gordon was talking about the past, why wouldn't you want to have all of your data and then see what you can do with it as we develop more interfaces and allow you to do more with it? So I can demonstrate that fairly so, quickly. So I already uh, played with it a bit. It, when, when you enter your Facebook, it goes and grabs all of your pictures and all of your uh, posts or your uh, status messages. Status messages, and all the, the comments, comments. The, the facial tags on that, okay. and everything comes down. And we're very deep, even to the point of your instant message. Facebook messages if you want to. Oh. Um, so we get all of that data down. You can set the schedule of how often it syncs, so daily, hourly, weekly, whatever you want to do. All of that information comes down, and then you can have, we've got various tools, you can search it, you can re-export it to CSV if you want to, you can. The search is really powerful. But let's, well, you've got some analytics too, which I think are cute. In yeah. In terms of uh, analytics, because again, you're trying to, you're starting, now that you have that data saved, like Gordon was doing for 10, 15 years, now you can see statistics about, you know, how many, how many national parks have you been to? Yeah. I'd love to, no, I'd well, love to see that, Absolutely. Right? So you know. if you look here, I've got a whole bundle of data down, down yeah. here. We've been doing some syncing recently, and I can choose to look at the insights and there's two sets at the moment, most popular activity by day, and we're adding more as time goes by. So here, for example, it's just gone and told me what I've done for the last 12 months that quickly across all my networks. So you can see the people who I've interacted with. And it's with that most. fast because all your data is on your own hard drive. It's on your own hard yeah. drive. In October time frame, you'll be able to put it in your personal cloud, so your Dropbox, your Google Drive, your SkyDrive or whatever, and then view it from any device. But at the moment, it's tied to your computer. And if you see here, I'm going to click seven days now. Chapingo got seven days. My son's going to kill me because those are pictures of his now going out over the world. But I don't use Instagram enough. But you can see here, it's, yeah. it's quickly picked up. Who did I communicate with in the last few days? Um, who were they? I can filter straight to it. And uh, you're seeing I didn't do any Facebook stuff. Mm -hmm. so Sorry, I didn't do any status updates. No, no, that's myself. cool. But, and it'll be interesting when, when you get uh, me on there and see what, what <laughs> shows up, because it'll be quite a bit heavier And than then this. you can search for anything. Now, yeah. for example, I'm an investor in Halo, um, the taxi cab yep. company, you should mention them. And I found I'll go to all rather than selected, and I'll just do Halo. And I must have mentioned them a few times. And yeah, so I've written three blogs about Halo. So yeah. investing, the mobile internet is not mobile and solving the duality problem. And the reason I invested in Halo was they solved the duality problem of how do you get supply before customers and how do you get customers before supply. So read the blog, it'll tell you how you do that. And that's why they've done so well, because yeah. they solved that problem. Yep. I've tweeted about it. And so instantly I've got all of that, whether it was blogs, tweets, Facebooks, everything to do with that. In about another month, we'll have this collections feature. So you can put anything you like in the collections and you can print it out as PDF or whatever you want. So you can create a baby book, you can create something for your work. You know, this was everything I did for that client. You name it, it's your choice. So what we're doing is the it'd first- be, It'd be interesting if you uh, did an API with uh, IFT, because we just interviewed them. And, yeah. and that's a little scripting language, language that can go grab data uh, 
they use the supply and put it somewhere. And it, it, I, I'd love to go to my new Flipboard magazines that just turned on the web today and push that into, uh, into social safety. Well, that's the type of thing you can do. So what we're yeah. going to be doing, the first thing we have to do is build the library of you. Yeah. So that's getting all of this disparate data, bring it down. Yeah. And so we say to everybody, do it now, because the power is going to come, and your book will only make it even more valuable, you know, the context of that. Then the second thing we want to do is allow you to do more with that data. So we're giving you functions that you can't even do on the web today. And a company on the web can't do it for you because they can't get all of that data, yet it's sitting on your computer. Remember, we don't see it. That's step two. Step three, which we'll do, is put an API around that. You can permission others to do it. Now that's when just, just get your brain to, working. Well, that's right? when F becomes really interesting it's because exactly. it can go into your system, grab some data, and put it back onto Google or but the other way, right? Or vice versa. Yeah. You can swap from service to service. I think I love the quantified self movement. Yeah. Right? Um, Nike running shoes. It's got my full history. And then my shoes run out after a year because I've done so much running. And I really love the new Adidas shoe. Um, but what do I do with all my old past data? Yep. I haven't got it in a form I can transfer it and everything else. With Social Safe, we'll have that data, you will have it, and you can look back over four or five years. You can see when you're getting older, like I am. I've had to give up rugby this year, so I could have seen at least that I used to be able to run. Yep. Um, and you know, you, it's that historical perspective and going forwards with what can you do with it. And you can allow other companies to look at your data if the value proposition's there. So we yep. actually end up being able to, people can come up with new propositions which are private if you want them to be or not if you don't want them to be yeah. because you now control your data and it will be very easy for you to say yes you can look at that and they don't even need to send it away. They can come in and look at it with a web app and actually just send back to their base, yeah he's eligible for a test drive of the new Mercedes or yeah. you name it, you can, your brain can start thinking of multiple uses. I, I can, but you've I, got to start collecting could, the data. I, we just spent an hour talking about what, what this could mean for the future, but uh, for my dad, uh, you know, it means that all his photos are in a place that he has control mm. of and all those comments and, I, and it, that's really powerful because uh, you know, some of these data, some of these sources actually go out of business. Now, Facebook's not going to go out of business anytime soon, but you, you know, you, if you die, you, you want to hand this over to your kids and say, here's all the pictures I shot of you, you know, and have it in a data safe. Yes, that you can, the ultimate legacy. You know, social well, safe, I guess, cool. and, and hand it over, right? It is a safe. And here, I've pulled up a picture here um, on my screen. This is a picture of me and my fellows at our old rugby club. Now, we've yeah. played rugby there 25 years. It was the worst facility in the southeast of England, and we've just opened a brand new, nearly £2 million, wonderful facility. But this is a very evocative photo for me. I'm afraid my memory does go. I'm going to forget who some of these people are. Yet we've pulled down here, in Social Safe, who everybody is. So I can just... Uh, oh, that's I'll, interesting. I'll, so that's and that came off of me. Facebook, or where, where that came off of Facebook, okay. and we've pulled down all the contacts, and that's linked back to them because it's all hyperlinked in the database here. And so even if those friends are no longer friends of mine on Facebook in the future, and that data would have staled away, or they stop using Facebook, yeah. or it just gets lost as it does, I've got that data all the time now. So this, so this is there forever now. I can't lose that information. This stops the data rot problem of uh, people, you know. Like people get mad at Facebook all the time, sure. delete themselves, and then the, their name goes away on all their photos because they deleted right. their system. And all themselves. the comments they made, so they came to your wedding and they made a really sarcastic, great, fun comment or whatever it may have been, that disappears. Yeah, Whereas now wife, it doesn't, it stays. Essentially, the, a piece of their life disappears yeah. because that memory, all they've got is a vague memory to that. You know, uh, I, I, I think of this whole thing as, look, the true memory is what the computer remembers. It's ground truth, it's got everything. Just the facts, it's got the images, it's got that. And the, what you've got in your brain is really a URL to all of that. Yep. And so what this does is basically really allows you to have that, a much bigger sea of information than you ever, ever could have uh, without that. Particularly yep. in, this, in this movement to have basically putting, putting your life so much is is uh, is on in a, in a cloud side or in a, yeah. in a social side. For example, in the in the healthcare health issue, I mean, I wear a, uh, a, a body media all the time, and so. What is that study of you about yeah, you? This is I'm part of the quantified self. Yep. Quantified selfers, 
And uh, basically on that, what this does is as you get a lot of these different tracking uh, sites that are out there, essentially these are little, I like to say, you know, we think of the word of si this world of silos, but these are really, these are really stovepipes. <laughs> yeah. uh, they're, they're hardly of that, silos. That's kicking off sensor data. What, what is yeah, it? This is, what well, is this it is watching? something I wear all the time. So this is, yeah. this is normally something I wear, but on the other hand, uh, I can also wear, if I were wearing a, uh, there's another a device I carry very often, which, which I can log, you know, things like uh, whether I, I have a heart, uh, heart, heart issues, so I can uh, log whether I've got a pain or what, you know, just all the conditions. And, and the, the issue is, can you pull all of that together in some sense? It's, yeah. it's really the aggregation. And we're going to have these, more and more of these, of these wearables. Pipe at, yeah, and I think all the all of those yeah. guys are they're doing each one, and what's happening is they're trying to cross link in in that, but they're all they're all kind of uh, can't quite make it uh, across all that, and this is. This uh, instead of getting that essentially an n squared problem, if we've got n of these companies, then oh my God, I've got to have my link with you and you. Okay, why don't we just put it here, and then we've got we've reduced it to a pro an n problem versus versus and it's your data and then and you your data. Oh, it's my data anyway. And they, and by the way, they, sometimes they don't want to part with this data yep. uh, in any convenient form, and so this is. Uh, you know that's the, and the, and the same thing with uh, with the financial data. You know you've got uh, different uh, places where you where where you have assets and you're trying to deal with that. So you're you're not yet watching my credit card data, are you? No. Um, or your we, app. We, we, no, the <laughs> app social is, safe because no, you, you and social safe. Are, the so app is on my computer. It you have, work. and it'll be on your mobile as well. So you have yeah. to think of social safe not as the business sitting with some servers, just knowing who you are and you've paid us some money. You've got to think of it as your app. Social safe is a safe. It's on your machine. We've started out. We thought, where do we start? How do we bring people into this world of realizing there's value to this data? As Gordon's right. been saying. Yeah. And the social data, there is an enormous amount of value. I yeah. remember a blog post, um, a lady last year, I think the year before, she started off, she said, I cried when I got social safe. And I thought, oh my God, I don't want to read this. <laughs> and when you read down, it was because she had used social safe, got all her data together and entered her child's name. And there was four years worth of a child's first walking, talking, and sure. all the other things. Yeah. And that brought back an emotional well. Right, you know, for her. Yep. So we thought, let's start with the social data, the data we're rampantly putting out. We're putting so much out there and we're losing it. And it's the memories, it's the, it's the instantaneous things you can see you can get value no, from. Not only that, and then we start there, then we're going to add your bank data yep. and your health data and everything else because it's your library of you. And if, I want you to think about going into your public library. We've done the geography and the history section, right? Yep. And then we're going to fill out the politics and then the physics and the chemistry and the biology section and, and so on and so forth. Yeah? So it's about starting, getting people aware that our role as social safe is not to interpret that data, not to look at that data or resell it, but is just act as your librarian, bring it together. We're a fairly intelligent librarian because you saw we gave you some statistics and most popular stuff and we'll do some of that. But then it's allowing other people under your control with your permission is what we call it, will then be allowed to come in and look at your data, either look at your data and go out and say, yeah. I like that guy, or look at your data and take it away if you allow them. And that's where we're going. When, when you first started down this life logging mm. path, you thought we were gonna have one device and one account, you know. And yeah, now, I, th well, see, I mean, I just took a that, picture of you, right? Yeah. Now you don't have access to my no. Facebook, but I'll tag you in Facebook. And, and and social safe can grab that photo yeah. then and yeah. put it in his safe. Yes. Yeah. If wow. he's been tagged, because now if I'm tagged, I can. He yeah. he's allowed to do it. So we we are very strict in following the rules that the social network set down. Um, in fact, some people provide a service like ours on the servers, yeah. but actually that's against the rules of the social networks, and so therefore it's as ephemeral as the social networks themselves. The only place where it's absolutely allowed is you, because it's your data and that's in the terms and conditions, and that's why we do it. And we are allowed to get pictures that you're tagged in. So this picture that I showed you of the rugby club, 
I didn't take that picture. Somebody took it. Everybody started tagging themselves and other people on it. And as that developed, I yep. remember the first time this downloaded, there was only four people tagged in it. And then, you know, over a period of time, more and more people. Well, we're, were. We're, I was just at a wedding down in Los Angeles, and I saw people using Instagram and Path and Flickr and Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter and on and on. And yeah. I, I probably missed a few services that people sure. were using. And so to build a, a repository of all, all the photos I'm in is really difficult because they're, they're, you, these photos of this wedding are scattered all over the would, internet, right? Yeah, it would take you probably a day if you want. If you wanted to recall it from that point of view, would, yeah. to go through and look at all those, make those queries and, and then bring them down easily. So that's really another kind of a scenario. No, we're looking for scenarios. And yeah. so, so I mean, I think that's a great, great one. Then there's the scenario, it all, it all went away. You know, the, these people disappeared, but. So um, add on to our oops. personal photos and stuff is also the news that's happening. I, you know, five years from now, I might want to search back for this day, yeah. the day that the royal baby was born yeah. or something like that. Absolutely, right? well, as, yeah. as, as, as a Brit. Whatever that baby's name is no, going to so be, because they haven't asked the One of the feed, there has to be a kind of a, a world feed here. Of, well, I have that um, on myself because I favorite things in the news on Twitter, right? Okay. So, okay. like, like so if, you, if there's a you know sure. a, a big plane crash, like there was a yeah. couple of weeks ago, I, I favorite or, sure. or retweet that news, and then it becomes part of my Twitter feed. Is that does that show up here as well? That does. So, for example, this would have been on the 23rd. So I'm going to the Tuesday, the 23rd of July here. Um, actually, there's a lot of backup stuff which I haven't filtered out here. But you'll see, um, did I say it yesterday? I can't remember. I'd have to search. I can't find it on here yeah. straight away because I'm, I'm looking and thinking at the same time. Yeah. But I put a tweet out saying, I'm British and I think this is a great day for, for people. You know, Some people think, why are you all mad because a, a baby's been born? Yeah. Well, it's our future king. Yeah. And that is important. And various people retweeted and, and made some comments at me. Um, and I could show it probably just as well that I'm not showing it actually because that would be breaching their privacy yeah. on the video. But, but the key thing there is that I can see that and I can go back and do that. And there are days which are important. And then, it, you know, I, at home I have a uh, Fitbit scale so I can step on the scale and it reports up to a cloud sure. service. Does it, can it get, grab that as well? We will be doing all of these things. Okay. And in fact, so they'll about, know I weighed 220 pounds yeah. on the day that the king was born, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and, but, but here's things that you you'll get start that from, to do. Uh, when uh, you've health log, you know, one of my health logs. Yeah. But two years down time, in, you know, with your social safe is built up, and we've got all these other services coming in. You'll be able to look at your patterns of stuff that you didn't think about, and you and I mm. can't think about. But some third-party service is going to say, well, if you've got this data and that data, we can do this with you. Yeah. Right? There's some new information. And I also think about the move to the Internet of Things. At the moment, the Internet of Things is all about reporting I don't know, your electricity usage to your power company and everything yeah. else. Not to you. It's not very useful to you. Yeah. It's not going to help you. We're, we're trying to think about why would I be interested in the Internet of Things. Well, well I'm getting my first yeah. sensor cubes that report the air quality in my house and my work out to the Internet. So you can okay, grab that sure. and, say, you can get and say, on this day, your air quality was pretty good. You know, and if you want to. I mean, I mean you, that's the kind of stupid stuff we're going to have. We're going to have sensors yeah. in our garden and sensors in our, on our heart and sensors in our but air. But it's your and, choice whether you yeah. want to capture it. So like in Social Safe, you don't have to bring everything down if it's not appropriate for you. So, for example, Facebook messages, the instant messenger stuff, you can choose to bring it down or not. Everything you can choose to bring down. But if you want it, it now kind of makes sense because all those internet of things that are pushing it out for other people to use, right, services and stuff, you can say, well, hold on, I want a copy of that. I may not know why today. Yeah. Somebody may come up with an answer. Or I may know why today. Please, can I have it? Social safe, you can always export it to CSV yeah. and do something so you don't have to be a programmer, and that's quite important. We take all these rather complicated feeds and allow you then, if you do want to do more than we allow you today, you can go and play with it yourself if you want to. We, but it's just being a library. Yeah, we've got to wrap up because yeah. I could go for three hours yeah. talking to you two <laughs> about this role because this, this is what I'm really passionate about. Tell me about the company. How was it funded and how many people work there? Uh, we've got 11 people. It's based in the UK, although we've actually got people using this, the product over 80 nations. And we're just busy internationalizing at the moment. We've had, I funded it myself for the first few years of operation whilst we're waiting for people to realize the value. 
We took a funding round uh, at the end of last year at about uh, $600,000 okay. converting. We've just completed another round at about three quarters of a million dollars, which takes us forwards for quite a long time. Um, and now it's really about getting people to realize, you know, it's seven bucks for a year to have all of your data yeah. and do it. It's a sort of, why wouldn't you do that? And then move forwards, tell us what you want next. You know, yeah. Tell us what's most important, what features do you want? And then, as I say, we're then gonna open it up so that other companies can do stuff with your data if you allow them, and it'll be yeah. under your control. Do you so think there's ever a time where you're building agents like running on my glass that are gonna report to social safe data that I think that, instead of us know. grabbing the data, when we open up the API, the more forward thinking companies will say, hold on a moment, no one's gonna to want to interact with me unless they get the data. So I'll push the data into their social safe and we're gonna open that up a lab. Yeah. So for now I have to follow all everybody else's APIs and stuff, but we'll open up an API where companies can push the data directly into your repository and then do more stuff with it. Really cool. Where do I get it? Uh, Socialsafe.net. Socialsafe.net. So thank you so much. I, Pleasure. You know, I could talk to you both for hours about <laughs> this stuff because this is, this is uh, great. Uh, you're a pioneer in the world that I, I'm living in, you know, and uh, it's really an honor to have thanks. you both here. So thank you very much. Pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Cheers. Great. Hey, thanks.